But when I came out here, I actually stumbled upon a bobcat, believe it or not, right down this way here. I think he was rabbit or hurt or something though. He was acting really, really weird with his back end, but anyway, it scared the crap out of me. So I went ahead and got out of here. Oh no, it's starting to rain a little bit. That's not good. I do not want it to freeze and cold rain on me. Kind of jerking it up actually, just to keep my bait a little bit higher in the water column. Oh, yep. Oh no. Golly. That was definitely a fish right there. There's one. There we go. Good little largemouth. All right, it's February 3rd and it is freezing cold here in South Texas, literally. It is 29 degrees outside right now at 3 p.m. So it's about as cold as it gets here in San Antonio. But uh, anyway, I'm here at this pond today to try to debunk a myth that I hear a lot that they won't eat a top water in the cold and I'm here to tell you that not only will they eat a top water when it's kind of cold, they will eat it when it's freezing cold. So I'm here to try to prove that point today at a pond that's been pretty good for top water ever since I found it. So this should give me a pretty good chance to try to prove that you can still catch them on top water, even in the freezing cold here in South Texas. I was here a couple of weeks ago trying to film a a video I was actually trying to see if they were spawning yet because it was really really warm just a couple weeks ago but when I came out here I actually stumbled upon a bobcat believe it or not right down this way here I think he was rabbit or hurt or something though he was acting really really weird with his back end but anyway it scared the crap out of me so I went ahead and got out of here so back here today like I said try to debunk the no top water in the winter myth that I hear all the time hearing these trees crack here with just a little bit of wind had some rain this morning and last night this freezing temperatures have now frozen it all to these limbs and stuff so every time the wind blows a little bit you can hear all these trees cracking around it sounds pretty cool actually golly all the ice building up on my guide that's making it hard to even reel. Well, so far I'm not proving anything except for I'm a fool for coming out here in this weather. <laughs> Golly, it's freezing cold out here. Like I always do when I come here, I got this other little pond right here over this hill. Another little pond I can go to real quick. So I'm going to go do that before I leave, but man, it's not looking good for this whole top water theory. <laughs> not today anyway, but it is definitely one of those things that I always say about every bait. It's not a magic lure or anything. It's not like a lure that works just all the time. I could be throwing another lure and also not getting bit. You never know until you really try, but I have found that top water is a good way to get these Texas bass to eat pretty much all year round almost three three 365 days a year you know what though i'm actually going to switch here real quick i'm going to cut this popper off and put on a whopper plopper 
I was throwing this popper at first just because it's a little bit slower of a presentation, but yeah, I don't think we need to do that. I think I'm overthinking it a little bit. This whopper plopper's been working for me good lately, even with these cooling water temperatures. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this whopper plopper on here for a little bit, see what happens. This water over here is actually pretty off color right now, so I wanna create more commotion than that little popper. I wanna throw a bunch of water like the tail of this whopper plopper does. Like I said, when it's colder like this, a lot of times you want more of a reaction bait anyway something that just buzzes right by them and just makes them immediately decide to eat or not not necessarily something that hangs over their head sometimes you do if they're super super lethargic and just will not chase at all but like i keep saying a lot of times here in south texas that is not how these fish are they're willing to chase at least a little bit even when i guess the coldest it gets here oh no starting to rain a little bit that's not good I do not want it to freeze and cold rain on me. Oh no. I'm gonna have to get out of here pretty quick, probably. Well, I don't know. Just did it for just a second there. Kind of stopped now. That was weird. Well, there it goes again. More of that rain. Come on. Don't be raining on me now. This is where the water from this pond comes. This creek running in right here. Got a little pipe right there. It runs right here and usually running water into a pond is a good thing, but I don't know about right now. The water coming in here is probably freezing cold. Don't see any little minnows or anything up in here thinking that temperature change maybe was abrupt enough to where a bunch of the minnows and stuff died in here so if I don't get bit on this whopper plopper here pretty quick I'm actually gonna go back to my car and grab a hard jerk bait that I've got in there something to imitate some of those dying shad like I said I have a feeling that's what happened to a bunch of them in here well obviously I didn't get bit on that whopper plopper or I would have showed you so Went back to my car and got the hard jerk bait like I was talking about. Little Lucky Pointer Craft, po Pointer Craft, Lucky Craft Pointer 100 in American Shad color. I'm actually going to come over here to this other pond and throw it here a few times before I go back to that pond I was just fishing. Never thrown a jerk bait in either one of these ponds, so this will be a new look for these fish. one thing about fishing this thing I'm gonna have to really worry about that grass there's a whole bunch of grass going all over this pond so it's gonna be hard to keep it out of there so I'm not jerking my rod tip down at a real sharp angle like I normally do kind of jerking it up actually just to keep my bait a little bit higher in the water column oh yep oh no golly that was definitely a fish right there golly I was sitting here talking, my bait was sitting still. Fish slammed it. Oh my goodness gracious. What was that all about? Didn't get a scale or anything back. Golly, def definitely a bite though. Oh shoot, ooh. Whew. Cast a little too far. Almost got hung up in that tree. There's one. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Good little largemouth. Went to jerk that jerk bait. He snatched it from me. He said, nope, let me have it. <laughs> All right. Nice largemouth there. Pretty, pretty guy. Like I said, it came up and smashed that little jerk bait when I went to jerk it. Next time he just whoop, snatched it from me. Who he's got a scar on his back right there. Got a chunk taken out of him. He's healthy though. 
Nothing wrong with them other than that. Nice thick little fish. Came up and tried to have him that little that little pointer for a snack. Alrighty, thank you for playing, buddy. That was fun. That fish was sitting right up here. Right in this calm little pocket. Just waiting for a minute to come flashing by. Like I said, I think that this water temperature change maybe was so abrupt that it killed off some of these minnows, so could be struggling around here and getting eaten. All right, well, pretty much fished all we can on this side now. I'm actually gonna work my way around and fish that other side of this jerk bait because I caught that one right here in this corner. I got another bite over there right there on that side, so. Those two bites have actually given me some more confidence in this spot. I was gonna try and go to another spot before I went home, but I think I'm just gonna focus all my energy here and try to fish around this side and then fish that other pond real quick with this jerk bait. See if I can get us some more bites. Well, I fished my way pretty much all the way around this other pond now here with this jerk bait without another bite. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. I can't really say I'm surprised. This place has been kind of weird like this lately. Anyway, catching that one good one and then having another bite is actually not bad at all. Given the conditions, like I was saying earlier, bass are warm-blooded animals, so, or cold-blooded animals, I should say, warm-blooded. Exact opposite. Anyway, they are cold-blooded animals, so their metabolism changes with the water temperature. So as the water temperature drops, when it gets real cold like this, when you get ice in your, in your guides, their metabolism starts slowing down a whole lot and they have to eat a whole, whole lot less. So you really gotta get them to react and stuff like that. So catching that one decent one and getting another bite is actually not a bad day for just a couple hours at this pond. Like I said, it's been a little weird lately anyway.